Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is my 100th video. I can't actually believe it. Um, so because it's my 100th video, I had to kind of be a special one. Um, so I thought I'd do something that I haven't done before, and that is a budget with me. So we are going to have a look at what we had, what our income was for July that we are using for August's budget. Um, and we're going to go through our expenses, our bills, how we're going to allocate our money. Um, and I'll sort of just talk you through everything as we go along. I am currently on statutory sick pay. My pay in July was half my normal weight was two weeks of normal wages, just under two weeks of normal wages, and then um a week or two weeks of statutory sick pay. But it was hot the income amount was higher than what I expected. So it's like our income is a lot lower than our usual income but it was actually more than I predicted it to be and I'll explain all that when I get to it but yeah should we just we'll crack on so you can see in the orange here our usual income is between 2,599 and 3,300 um, and depending on how much the BT bill is um, that goes into my partner's account because we've got a few direct debits that we haven't moved across to this account so when he gets paid um, or when we get you know like basically at the beginning of every last day of every month is when I do my money shuffle and transfer the money for direct debits and stuff and um around 90 to 100 pound goes into that account to cover netflix the internet and home phone which is the bt bill and my partner's life insurance because we haven't switched them over to this account um but yeah so our expected income for this month was £2,365.91p but we actually had an income of £2,522.52p. Now when I say income I literally mean every single penny of income. So my wages, my partner's wages, child benefit, we get a small amount of child tax credit. Basically, if it's not listed here, then it's included here in income. I've carried forward £74 from last month as well uh, because I didn't think we'd have... I thought I was expecting my pay to be lower, so I carried forward £74 to try and help the budget a little bit this month. I had a payout of £2.32 from Quidco, which is similar to Top Cashback. There's a link in my link tree, a referral link to it. If you want to use that, I'll leave my link tree link below. Um, we had no other additional income. The interest that we received off my Chase account this month and my Roundup money from my Chase account and my cashback from my Chase account I've left in there to put with August's interest. When it gets to a month that we need it more, I'll withdraw it and use it then. So yes, yeah, so that is our income. So like I said, our income includes absolutely every income apart from these. Um, other is, would be, the only thing that would come under other um, is things like if we were given money for our birthday um, 
that's generally the only thing that would come under other. Um, I am going to actually add Etsy here because I have opened an Etsy now and it will be a while before I pay myself anything. But it's there to remind me when I do decide to start paying myself anything. So yeah, so that's her income. I paid in sort of drips and drabs throughout the month. So what I do is every time we receive an income, I put it into a separate account. And then on the last of the month, it gets transferred out. And it gets divided however it needs to be divided. So the £100 for those other direct debits, um, enough in our direct debit account for the whole month. And then our cash money for what we're going to cash stuff as well. Um, that's just how I do it. So our mortgage is £511.88, which is about right for our income. We are in a fixed deal. Um, I'm absolutely dreading when the fixed deal ends. But you'll see how, because I've changed our budget for this month, and I'll explain that when I get to it. But overpaying the mortgage is more or less now a priority. Um, because the way the interest rates keep going up, if they're the same by the time our fixed rate ends, we'll be good, basically. We're on a 2.19% at the moment. So if ours went up to like something like 5%, we would be, we would be screwed, I think. My future financial self will thank me. Um, for what I'm going to do going forward, I hope. British Gas Services, that is insurance for our boiler and our central heating, that's £3.14 a month. Uh, union income benefit is £19 a month, that's not my union membership, that is for an income pay, an income payout whenever you're off sick. Um, I'm not even sure how much it is. I know from when I spoke to them last time, it's not much. It's not like the sort of insurance that covers your complete loss of wages. I think it's something like £15 a week. But it all adds up, doesn't it? So I need to find out about that because I've already been off work like three weeks already. Um... Nationwide home insurance is £29.49. That is buildings and contents because we're homeowners. Uh, my life insurance, well, it's not actually life insurance because I can't get life insurance because I'm not cerebral palsy. Um, so this is actually critical illness cover. And it also have all three of my children on the policy. And that's £27 a month. Water is £63.79. British gas is £22. £224.54, that's for our electric and our gas. I'm expecting that to go up again in the winter. Last winter they put it up to 340 Absolutely horrendous. I don't know how they can get away with charging such prices. And you know what, not to get all political, but when I went online and searched for the, about their profits on um, whatever it's called, that government website where you can, like, track business you can have a look at the business's expenses and profits and stuff um when they started charging these huge pro they had this huge price rise it was their biggest profits they'd ever made biggest profits they ever made and yet elderly and the poor are left to basically freeze to death i'm not even do you know i'm not even going to go there because i'll end up having a massive ramp but let's just say if I didn't, if I could live without gas and electric, I'd boycott the lot. Um. Anyway, sorry. Right, my mobile. We all have brought our phones outright, so we've got SIM only plans. Um. So my mobile is five pound forty. My partner's mobile is five pound forty. Council tax is one hundred and seventy. My union membership is £16.25. 
National Trust is £12.20. I do want to try and save up and pay for this annually at some point next year. Um, and, I mean, the big goal would be to buy a lifetime pass. So, yeah. Um, dog insurance is £26.80 from this month. Amazon Prime is 8 99 Appliances online and insurance, which is for my first chess reuser, is 5 99 My son, eldest, our eldest child's mobile, is £5.40. Google storage is £2.49. I'm trying to sort out my photos at the moment so I can cancel that. And Canva is £11. And like I said previously, um, Netflix my partner's life insurance and the bt bill come out of a separate account so our bills total actually come to 1250 um but just to make it easier for my brain i've decreased the income by the 100 pound that goes in that account so like so our 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 outgo our bills would normally be one thousand two hundred and fifty, but then our actual income would be two thousand six hundred and twenty two if that makes sense going forward, I'll just include it all. It's a lot easier our expected direct debits should be one thousand one hundred and forty eight and seventy six p the children get thirty five pound pocket money a month. So that is fifteen pounds for my eldest, and ten pound for my middle child and our youngest child. Um, the our my purse gets two hundred pound a week, so that is for food, for fuel, for my spending, for my partner spending, and then the kids each year five pound, put in the purse as well, and it also includes what I like to call a buffer. So if the food shop, for example, came to 110, I put £30 a week in a buffer, which is basically just money to fall back on, like if we needed more fuel than what we had in the budget and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this would normally be about £240, but I've decreased it to 200 and at the moment we seem to be doing fine. We're still having rollover money each week left to go my tin um so i'm just going to leave it like that for now so that's 200 pound a week and there's four weeks in august for us so that's 800 pound altogether i'm putting 180 pound to our emergency fund which will bring it up to 4600 due to a massive spending splurge um in june or july i can't remember when it was um our emergency fund has dropped quite a lot compared to what it was Um, it was nearly fully funded but it's now not nearly fully funded so we're going to keep putting a little bit to that as when we can the variable is getting 50 my variable binder um so i'll just put 50 pound in whichever envelopes i feel need stuff in if i haven't got 50 pound worth then it will go to my emergency fund or my 100 envelope challenge my 100 envelope challenge we're putting 115 that's for our annual bills next year my big goals is getting 200 so that will probably be 150 to our new car fund and 50 pound to our home fund the mortgage i'm going to overpay 67 pound and altogether, that comes to £2,595.76p, which will leave us for £3.08 for next month. When I actually provisionally did this budget to begin with, when I was expecting it to be 2365 I think I had these purse ones set at the normal 240 or 245 and it literally left me with nothing, which is why I ended up having to carry over the 74. But by decreasing these amounts, and because we've had like an extra £190, um, that's where this one is 
come from. So, yeah, so that is our budget for the month. Um, you know, and every penny really does count. That's one thing that I've learned through cash stuff in is like every penny really adds up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping that next time my lighting will be better in the lounge. So I'll actually be able to record it. Either that or I'll print off the spreadsheet and go with go through it. I recorded twice with it on my laptop and it wasn't very good at all. So I thought it's just better to screen record it on my phone. That is my budget for August. It's pretty basic. It will be pretty basic now until I'm back at work and I'm back on full pay. Um, because I could end up going back to work part way through the pay period. Which would mean even if I'm back at work, my first set of pay might include some sick pay. So we'll just we'll just see how it goes and keep plodding on. Um, thank you to everyone who has been continue to support me if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and yeah i will see you all soon i hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any questions or anything leave a comment down below or um inbox me on instagram and i will happily answer any questions have an amazing week and i will see you all soon bye